Well, Nick Pierce is the director for the Institute of Public Policy Research, and he's in our central London studio now. Um, Nick Pierce, um, is he, Alan Milburn seems to be calling for a return to the good old days, doesn't he? Well, I think this is a very uh, powerful report. It's a comprehensive overview of all the evidence, and he's basically saying, look, if we want more young people to go to our uh, leading universities in particular from low-income backgrounds, then we've got to help them stay on at school at college at 16, get the right LA results and help them make their applications. And not enough is being done at the moment. And it's the wrong kind of uh, subsidy to say, well, let's give them lower fees when they get to university. It's better to do that spending earlier on. So I think he's right about that. I mean, young people themselves have, have talked about the fact that the education maintenance allowance was something they valued, but I'm mm. sure they would also say they, they're on top of that. They, they don't want to have to pay so much or owe so much uh, when they do a degree. I think the key thing is what will do most to widen access for low-income students to our universities. Is it giving them lower fees? Or is it helping them to get the A-level grades they need to get into university in the first place? And I think Alan Milburn is right to say we need to help people stay on at school and college at 16, study hard, get the results, and then go to university. That's a better way of improving access than saying, look, we'll give you lower fees when you get there. What about this other point that he makes, that he wants uh, universities to accept lower A-level grades from people who come from disadvantaged backgrounds? Yeah, this is all about potential. It's about saying, you know, do children who go to tougher schools with higher class sizes, who don't get private tuition, who don't get all the kind of cramming and parental support that uh, children who go to schools like Eton get, if they get A-level results at Eton get, surely their potential for doing well at university is higher. And there are some very good studies showing that, that um, children will do better, young people, when they go to university, if they've come from low-income backgrounds, they'll get better degrees despite having perhaps lower GCSE or slightly lower A-level grades. You can maintain high academic excellence standards, but at the same time have greater fairness in university admissions. And I think Alan Milburn is exactly right to call for that. Nick Pierce, thanks very much. Thank you.